weapons, new prefabs and galleries, some really great changes, but Epic made a bunch of mistakes in today's update. Let's get into it. Okay, we're starting with leaks. We have updated images of the waterfalls, which I can't wait for. The prop mover is supposed to get rotation, so you can rotate it up to 360 degrees, and you can control the pitch, roll, or yaw. This is really cool. Like, guys, this is gonna be a game changer for the prop mover. There's some issues with the prop mover we'll talk about in just a second. The leak for a new crowd volume device, a crowd of people for decoration. I'm hoping there's different settings on it, like dancing crowd, like walking on a street crowd, just different types of crowds you could have. There's a few updates on the new camera focus device. Here's a look at some prefabs we should get. I think Epic's are preparing for their big summer vacation so they can release stuff while they're gone. And this looks kind of interesting. I mean, we kind of already have stuff that looks like this, but look, there's waterfalls in it, so that's good. Also, we should be getting primal prefabs very soon. Looks like there's gonna be a version two of the item spawner, and then I don't know what cursed tree this is. I mean, I want it, but it's cursed. And then there's some cool updates with the new prop spawner. What we're thinking this does is it adds physics to props, which would be so interesting. Can't wait to see what that is. Okay, first little update is if you go to your template islands, you scroll down, you're gonna see this co-op dungeon crawler. Let's take a look at this real quick. I don't often look at the templates, but I'm curious what they've built here. Oh, that's a pretty big map. I love all these straight up instructions they give even about player spawn pads. I mean, they even tell you that you have to like fly through the walls and stuff. I mean, that's really interesting. I need to look through these template maps more. These are actually really awesome. Okay, second major change is in the hub, you're gonna notice the featured islands are completely gone. And also, if you didn't notice in this Naruto awesome hub, by the way, it's really cool. There are no more featured islands, like nothing. Only thing you have now is this one featured island by the hub maker, and then your islands where you can build. One of the best things about this is now without these featured hubs here, people won't be able to glitch items into the game anymore, at least through that method. So basically the hub now has become just an artistic build space and a place to gather with your builder friends to go and build your maps. I'm actually hoping what they'll do with this is add a few more of these things so it's not just four. You can have more than four islands when you load in with a bigger build group. That can get really annoying if you have a group of six and you need to jump into someone else's island. And now before we get into some of the new stuff, let's talk about what Epic messed up. First, on Epic's website, they always put out these patch notes that have everything that they've added. They also show a bunch of bugs that they fixed and there's actually some really important bugs they fixed in here. And I'll go over some of those in a second. But look at some of these bugs. They fixed an issue with the chair device. Uh, we don't have a chair device, guys. They fixed a button input issue with the select event tab in the channel 2.0 device settings. I don't even know what that means, guys. That is definitely not something we have. And they fixed an issue with the focus device prompt. We definitely don't have the focus device, guys. So uh, at least they're fixing bugs for devices we don't have yet. Oh, so they fixed themselves with the prop mover. Let's go look at the prop mover. All right, we got a prop mover here. And this is a big whoopsie from Epic. You can't change the distance of this anymore. So the prop mover still technically works. Like if I start this game, that prop is gonna move 20 meters and then it stops. So you can't change the distance or the speed of the item anymore. I am praying this is just a mess up from Epic and not an actual feature change and hoping it was just because they meant to add rotation and it just accidentally took out the speed and distance settings. <laughs> Epic fix this now! Okay, next thing Epic messed up is if you go to your recently added galleries, you'll notice some new galleries here and we'll go over those in just a second. They added the Bony Burbs prop gallery, but that's it. There's no other Bony Burbs galleries. And in the patch notes, you'll notice they didn't want to add the Bony Burbs galleries. My guess is this whole gallery here was meant to be released in a future like content update when Epic is on break or something. Some good stuff in this gallery, you guys, but I'll look through this more in detail when we're supposed to actually get it. Oh man, this little hut is amazing. I honestly don't know how Epic keeps adding stuff on accident. I feel like I'm bringing stuff up like this every single update. I get Epic has a lot of work to do and things slip through sometimes, but it's every update these days. Oh, this is a cool gallery, guys. Okay, now let's talk about what we actually got. We got the new Charge SMG, including all of its rarities. This is a brand new gun in Battle Royale that's really, really interesting. The way this gun works is you hold down your fire button and it charges up, and then to fire it, you have to let go of your button and it rapidly fires at people. Now, this is gonna be an interesting gun to get used to because you kind of like have to charge up and then you release it, and it's not like it's a really quick thing, but I mean, it just shreds people. And if you get the drop on someone, I mean, that person is gonna be gone. I mean, with the full charge, watch this, I'm gonna like shred all of these guys like instantly. It was three kills in like two seconds. So this is gonna be a dangerous gun and I'm really interested to see how this plays out in Battle Royale. They've updated the baller here. If you go into the settings, there's two really cool updates. First, you can make it have infinite energy. So that way you don't like run out 
out of baller fuel. But also, I think it's cool that it can use energy. That way, you have to be smarter about where you're using your boost because you might lose your baller by the end of the map. The coolest thing is you can change the grappler range. The default is 60, but what if you put it all the way up to 500? That means you should be able to grapple from great distances. But uh, even where it says it should be grappling, it's not really grappling. So I don't know if this is like working quite properly. I mean, there it kind of works, but at a range of 500 meters, I should be able to grapple at a distance of pretty much this entire map, but it's not really changing. Maybe I have to start the game. Yeah, no, I don't think this is really working. So it says it's changed this, but guys, I don't think that range has actually changed at all. So hopefully they fix that. Uh, that's another whoopsies by Epic Games. Or maybe I'm just misunderstanding it. I don't know. Okay, let's do a couple of quick changes. In the wildlife spawner, if you go down to your channel settings, you can assign riders when receiving from a channel now. Included in that is you can dismount people when receiving from a channel. So now you don't have to jump on an animal to ride it. It will just choose one of these. Actually, I'm curious which one it chooses for me to ride. All right, here we go. I'm gonna hit the trigger and it will mount me. Okay, on that one, maybe it was just the closest one. Actually, I have no idea how how it chooses which one to ride and which one not. See, what happens if I jump on this again? Here we go, and oh yeah, it looks like it's the closest one. Now you can make a full racing map on animals. That'd actually be kind of hilarious. But when someone triggers this, it dismounts you instantly. So that's actually really cool. You can now create levels exactly how you want with animals. In the storm controller, you can now turn on storm sickness, which is cool just to make it feel more like normal battle royale. They also fixed the grapple glove. If you'll remember with infinite ammo turned on, even after using it 30 times, you'd lose your grapple glove. But supposedly they fixed that. I'm gonna test it out real fast. Okay, so I'm right around 29. This should be 30. And it appears like they actually fixed this glitch. I'm up around 40 now, and this is definitely fixed. So we now have infinite ammo on the grapple glove. That is actually fantastic. Also, remember there was a glitch where if you put like some grass down and you couldn't pick it back up or you couldn't even delete it, but that is now fixed. A huge deal for a lot of map makers. Now you can touch grass again in creative mode. Now, I do need to mention a lot of people are complaining about memory problems, saying that memory has gone through the roof. This is just an old map I have where the memory seems to be higher than usual. This is the Fortnite creative tweet about the update, and creative news and leaks said ratio plus fixed memory, and so far they've actually ratioed the main creative account. So I'm gonna add to that. You'll see a ton of comments down here about how memory is just kind of blown up. Okay, last really cool quick update is now you can multi-select a bunch of things, and then when you hold down your delete button, it deletes all of those things that you selected. That way you can control your deletes a little better than accidentally deleting something and destroying your whole map. We still need that undo button though. All right now we're gonna look at the new galleries that we officially got. That we're not a mistake. So we got these uh, cool Aurora Borealis or Northern Light galleries. It's hard to see with the daylight on. Good thing I can control light brightness. There we are. That looks really cool. These are normal particle effects. Can I resize them? It definitely changes the size of them. Oh my gosh, that's the uh, really big. This equalizer version may respond to music. Oh yeah, when I put the radio out, look at this now. It is bouncing. This gallery does not respond and this one does respond to music as well, so that's something interesting. This is the modern art prop gallery. Bunch of new paintings, which is always good. I feel like I'm always looking for decorations in my map. Then these cool sculptures. Some of them are glass, so if you break it, it shatters. I'm always glad to get new funky shapes. Fortunately, the hitboxes are crazy on this, so you can't actually go through it, even though it looks like it's hollow it is not and then we got these interesting new terrain pieces oh uh, this is interesting i'm gonna flip this around and put these together just a little bit and look at the mountain behind it i think it's just that background mountain reskinned i mean that looks identical so now we have this mountain in creative mode but it's a iridescent mountain i mean it is really bright oh my gosh one cool thing about this terrain is if you flip over the smaller one you can now use it as like little hills i mean that's actually a really cool feature i'm hoping we get in some other terrain type in the future. Let's see how big we can make this. Holy cow. It takes up more than a quarter of the whole map. I just put four of them down and we've had this huge alien landscape with the Aurora Brewery house in the middle of it. It's actually pretty cool. So kind of an awkward update, guys. Lots of mistakes in this one. Lots of bugs to fix. What some cool stuff we got. Whoa, look at that. 